The Mount Everest was first measured by Survey of India and uh, after the measurement the computation was done under the leadership of Sir George Everest. In fact, George Everest got the knighthood probably because of this achievement. Okay. And uh, after that, uh, the, we came out with the height of 29,028 feet. And uh, this was declared in the year 1855. You can see it in the posters. If I am correct, the year was 1855. Then later, subsequently, lot many people observed and came out with different heights. Okay, even Survey of India measured it once again. Twice we measured it, we came with the same height. Now what happened is a couple of years ago, if you remember, there was an earthquake in, earthquake in Nepal, which is, uh, we call it as a Gurkha earthquake, they call it. During the earthquake, it is sort of suspected that the Mount Everest has lost its position. It might have come down by some height. We don't know the height. Some kind of uh, opinions are expressed in the scientific community. And uh, secondly, all along, whoever has made the measurements of Mount Everest, several countries, they send their scientists, they made the measurement. Many people did it using GPS receivers. And they, everybody came out with some kind of height, which is close to the height we have declared. Now why we are measuring it again is that one is to know whether Everest is still intact, that is number one. And secondly, to confirm the height. And we are doing it by three methods simultaneously on the same day. One is using the GPS receiver. Second is by the triangulation method. Triangulation method in the sense we will observe the height of Everest from the land, uh, from two, three places from which it is visible. That is done. That will be done again. And also we are making some gravity measurements which will also confirm the height in an indirect way. Uh, this is what it is about. As I said, there are three. First is that everybody these days, for any kind of measurement, they use GPS receivers. So I am using that. Along with that, triangulation method. Triangulation method in the sense we keep a theodolite light somewhere and we take the height of the Mount Everest, the vertical angle, and we try to measure the horizontal distance between these two and come out with the height difference. Then also that way also it is a trigonometric height, we call it. We come out with a trigonometric height. The third one is that we have to make a geo height on uh, using geodetic methods, there some correction is to be applied, where some gravity measurement is required. And uh, my director geodesy, who is an expert in that, he is organizing it. So simultaneously we are doing that also. So by sort of, we are reconfirming it on the same day, making two, three kinds of exercises.